Hi there. In preparation for our upcoming 2023 Mining Summit, I've compiled some nuggets from last year's Mining Summit. This segment is a short excerpt from Don Lane's presentation on ultra-reliable wireless. To register for this year's summit, go to cs.co slash mining23. Here's Don. I'm going to talk today a little bit about CURB, Cisco Ultra Reliable Wireless uh, Backhaul. Uh, and I am the CURB specialist for mining in North America. We recognize that when it comes to wireless in the mining industry, there are multiple access te technologies that are available for your success and available for particular use cases. As a result, we believe firmly that a multi-access technology is going to be required for the mining industry. If, if someone was to come to me and say, you know, I, I've got a connection, I want to connect up some, you know, sensors at a tailings pond. It, it, is that going to be really appropriate to put on a, um, a LTE or a 5G or um, um, a Wi-Fi connection or even 2.4? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, it depends on really what you're trying to accomplish. And so we're going to really work hard to make sure we cover the full breadth of your wireless needs as we move forward. Uh, as you've already heard already, um, you know, you've seen some of the technologies that are out there. Uh, you've, you've all worked with, you know, Wi-Fi, and I know in mining, many, many are looking at private LTE into a private 5G. And Wi-Fi, it's exciting to see the changes coming up in Wi-Fi 6 are already here, actually. But as we look forward into the technology and the move forward, CURB, Cisco Ultra Reliable Wireless Backhaul, formerly Fluid Mesh, has a particular place that fits well in the mining space. And, and that place could be supporting connectivity for the entire mine, or it could be very focused to a, an autonomous or a tele-remote solution. So let's talk about CURB architectures a little bit. As I mentioned, um, it is a software-defined radio. And what happens is, out of the box, it's a point-to-point, point-to-multi-point, or a meshed mode radio. And it's meshed for fixed architecture not for a mobile architecture. And I'll talk about that in a second here, but when you look at the radio, it has out of the box, depending on the model, either a two and a half meg per second throughput or a 15 meg per second throughput. And that's upgradable to either 100, 150 or 500 megabits per second of throughput based on the, um, the model radio that's available and the chipset that it's running on. And so when we find ourselves in the mining world, we have a particular radio we use predominantly, which is our FM4500 series. That same radio can carry us from end to end, from the backhaul through distribution to the access point and all the way to the vehicle, which was a great way for sparing and um, making it easier to support it. But so that same radio can carry us into the mobility architecture. So it's a true end to end solution IP based technology. The one thing to understand about it is it is not a Wi-Fi 802.11 protocol. So your laptop, your, la your phones are not going to see this radio. It is proprietary. It runs an MPLS protocol and allows us to have extremely low latency, very high throughput with very fast handoff times. Uh, when we look at our network capabilities, we're achieving uh, zero millisecond handoff when we come into connectivity and roaming from radio to radio on the access side with five nines of reliability and no service provider subscriptions needed and we can deliver up to 500 megabits per second. When we look at our use cases, um, you know, fixed or nomadic wireless backhaul, uh, fleet management systems, FMS systems, tele-remote dozing, we are validated with CAT command. Uh, ADS, Autonomous Drilling, we have worked with Autonomous Drilling for Komatsu. Um, we are currently a solution that they, they uh, will use on their drills, as well as Flanders. And we're doing some testing with CAT in certain sites, as well as AHS for Autonomous Haulage. And we are a validated design for CAT command for hauling. And we are currently in a test mode with Komatsu for tele-remote shovels. Uh, we have with both Komatsu and, and Caterpillar, ASI uh, and some other companies, um, some I can't name, but we are currently supporting connectivity to loaders, excavators, dozers, uh, drills, and of course, autonomous haul trucks. 
That was Don Lane, who will be back at the 2023 Summit to tell us more about use cases for mining. To register for this year's summit, go to cs.co slash mining23. And if you'd like to watch the rest of Don's presentation from last year, check out this video. Take care.